All right, all right. What's up, fellas? It's your boy Dark Kel right here. So, uh, quick update. Um, so, I basically, had my first breakdown, official breakdown with the Kenworth 3900L. It's trucking. I don't care what truck you have. You can have breakdowns. Uh, the truck's been running great, and um, I'm just, you know, I. From my experience of being on the road, I, I you know I've driven new trucks, old trucks, they all break down. I don't care, you know, saying what truck they are. They all they all have problems. This is trucking. This is how it is. It's not. A, it, it, it's not really. Well, I'm not gonna say it's a major breakdown. It's just a general breakdown. You know, just belt and pulley type shit. So, but um, I've had something similar that's happened to me. I had a brand new Cascadia when I was up with Snyder. Uh, the first time I did the own operator with them, and I was on I-10 somewhere um somewhere over there in Fayetteville or some shit like that in Louisiana I don't remember where it was but all I know is that I was riding in a very similar situation the my my battery voltage was dropping and I'm like okay what's going on here you know what I'm saying it was dropping and earlier that day when I took off I had stopped at a, at a, at a, at a pilot and when I took off I heard a little plop but I kept riding you know what I'm saying and then and then I noticed the voltage dropping so I pulled into the, there's a roadies right there and I love somewhere off I-10 right before Fayetteville, you know, right down like 30 miles away from the TA, but anyway, it's a roadies there. I pulled in there and um, got some food and then I hope I said, let me pop the hood open and see what's going on here. Open the hood, sure enough, shredded belts, shredded belts. And I could see that with the, the, the idler pulley, you know, the tension of pulley thing, it was, it was like falling off. It was broken. And uh, that shut me down for, for the rest of the day. And then, you know, it wasn't until the next day. And I had to wait till the next day because they actually had to order that part. And um, But it got fixed. The next day I was rolling. I was out of there. And I made it home for what I had to do. So uh, here we go, man. It's, that, was, that was back in 20, uh, 2015. So, you know, my experience, you guys, see, if you guys see my videos and you know I've had a century. I've had a lot of issues with the century. Just experience, man, from the road. And um, so here I am. So it's 2019 right now. I'm on a great, it's been a, it's been a great two weeks and I made my money, man, and I'm coming home for Christmas. I got a keen solution load, which is mail, and I'm delivering right in my hometown, Orlando, and I'm super excited to go home and see my newborn baby, man, and I'm riding, I'm just riding along. I stopped and took a shower and got back in the truck, you know, and as I'm pulling out the parking lot, I heard, plop. so, I, you know, I've, from my experience, when I heard that, I was like, wait a minute. And then I said, but there was ice, you know, there's, you know, I was in Wisconsin, so there's ice on the ground. So I'm like, ah, I just ran over some ice, whatever. So I keep on driving down the road, drove about 260 something miles down the road. And, and, you know, from my experience, from all the shit I've been going through with the trucks and everything, one thing I've learned is always keep your eyes on your gauges. You know, you know how when you get in see they tell you always check your mirrors every couple of seconds. Well, I check my mirrors, but I check my gauges religiously, especially like my oil, my oil temperature, pressure, you know, the water, you know, the, the cooling temperature and, you know, air, like just all of them. I'm, I'm constantly, you know, my, my battery when I'm always checking down because I've had batteries down on me. I've had alternators go bad on me on my on my Cascadias. So I'm, I'm driving down the road. Everything's fine. Truck's running great. Everything. I'm rolling down the road and. I throw a peep at my gauges and I noticed that the battery gauge was like too close to the 12 when I when this truck is it was always between the 14 and the 13 which it should be normal and I know this truck has new batteries and, and but I'm like damn I just ran uh I just ran the wires for an inverter that I just got because I just you guys know I just got this truck if you guys been following my videos so I'm like damn is this something that I did wrong with the wires so I, I see the battery voltage low and it was between like i said it was always between 13 and 14 now it's between 12 and 13 and i keep on riding i'm watching it's going it's dropping and it's dropping and it's getting to a point where it's almost at the 12 so i you know i make the call i call maybach i say hey look man there's a ta nine miles i'm pulling in there truck's running fine uh but my voltage is dropping and i'm not gonna take a chance again you know if you guys been broke down then you know that roll calls cost a lot of freaking money you break down inside road that's your ass mr postman you know what I'm saying? Because they're going to tag your ass, man. So, see a TA nine miles up the road. So, I push it up to the TA. I pull it up here. They get me in here in about two hours. You know what I'm saying? I idle the truck the whole time. So, I see it. But while I'm idling, you know, I'm checking the thing. And, and then now and now we're almost, we're like way past under the 12. Now, it's just steady dropping. So, I'm thinking to myself, shit. You know, my alternate ain't charging the batteries. The alternate is bad. This truck's running on straight up battery power. And when those batteries die, this thing's going to go. 
that's what I'm already is already crossing my mind. So whatever, they finally get me in here. I drop the trailer, I get in here, and um, buddy goes to check the batteries. The batteries, you know, they, he's like, oh, these batteries look fairly new. What I did, he said, no, that's 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 well done, and um, pops the hood open. We're looking at the hood. As soon as he looks at the hood, he's up. Like, oh, found your problem. I get out and look, and dude, I just laughed. I'm like, holy shit, this is like an instant replay. The last time I had this happen to me, I was trying to make it home for my daughter's birthday. She was, we, we were doing her a night, a birthday party, a big birthday party, and I had to get to her birthday party, which I, I ended up making it by the hair of my chinny chin chin. So then here we go, man. I'm on the way down to Christmas, my first Christmas with my newborn baby. And um, today is December the 21st now, because now it's about one something in the morning here. I'm over here and um, I, I think I'm actually, st I, I st I'm still in Wisconsin actually, I'm almost in Illinois. And I get off and I look, belts ripped up, idler pulley seized up. So what happened here is that, you know, this, this belt is the one that runs the alternator in the AC. So basically what happened, this truck basically like, you know, technically, if it would have been the other, but you know, I can't run like that because you know. So what's happening is I'm alternator. The belt that that that, that turns the alternator is gone, and the AC is gone. So basically, I don't have AC or alternator. This is a Cat C15. So I'm I'm like, holy shit! And, and he's like, well, at least you know now that it's not your alternator and it's not your batteries, and it's it's you know the reason your batteries are dying is because your alternator is not charging them because it's not turning because his belt's broken and it's broke because of this pulley. The pulley seized up. So uh, we called, you know, he called the parts in and the the pulley, they, they don't have it in stock right here at the TA. So we're going to have to get it in the morning. So tomorrow, Saturday morning, he's telling me not to worry about it. It's not a big job. You know, the pulley's right there. And, you know, so got to wait. Bad, the bad shit is I want to drive at least another 200 or so miles a day. But uh, I, get, I get a little worried, man. I want to get home for Christmas and, you know, I'm just like, shit, man. So. Here we are, man. Just a quick update. So, in the morning, I just gotta go to sleep. In the morning, we're gonna, gonna get that that pulley. They're gonna go ahead and change the. I think it's two or three belts. I think this truck uses three belts. They're gonna get all the belts and put all the belts on there. Get that pulley on there. And once once they get that put on there, I should be ready to keep. I should keep on rolling. I should be ready to roll. So, I mean, I was gonna shut down anyway here tonight. So it ain't no thing, man. I, I got two six hundred mile days, so I'll drive tomorrow once they get it done. I don't care if I don't care how they did that. I'm driving six hundred miles tomorrow, and I'm driving six hundred miles on Sunday. It's just instead of getting home Sunday, you know, in the afternoon, I'll probably end up getting home. I'll probably go straight to delivery Monday morning at seven, which is a good thing because that way I don't get teased getting home Sunday, then getting back in the truck early Monday, then coming back home. So I just keep it pushing. I'll sleep in the truck. I, you know, I, I know they get me out of here, so you know I'm. Just make a quick video before I go to sleep and I already rambled on. I'm going into eight minutes. So I'll keep you guys posted and I'll put some pictures up and let you guys see what's going on. Alright, boys. Keep the word down. Peace.